Hi students, welcome to our channel. Today I am going to explain nodal tissue. Nodal tissue is nothing but a specialized muscular musculature that is present in the heart. So muscle is there. Now muscle, there is some cells. Those are called as cardiomyocytes. So now not only musculature is there. Now that is nodal tissue. Ka so that is a specialized specialized cardiac musculature is present in the heart which is called as a nodal tissue mainly nodal tissue contains two nodes one is a s a n sino atrial node sino atrial node so the location of sino atrial node is present in your right atrium uppermost upper part of the right atrium where the sinus where the superior vena cava opens suppose the right atrium part this right atrium part lo superior vena cava open a position edaithe undo idi so ee particular area anta manam san ga cheppochu that is sino atrial node so this sino atrial node is a initiator so heart start ayi san tote without any external stimuli that's why it is called as pacemaker so this also called as pacemaker so it can initiate the uh, action potential in the heart without any external stimuli that's why it is a pacemaker it contains some cells those are called as cardiomyocytes cardiomyocytes they have the ability to generate action potential so every 0.6 seconds within so manam chusukunnatlayite heart beat so san can sense the impulse so can initiate the impulse zero every 0.16 seconds that means in 1 minute it can create 100 beats in heart so prathi 6 0.6 seconds ko sari action potential start avutundi from the san node but 1 minute kaithe 100 beats ni capability unnatundi action edaithe nodal tissue that is a san Normally, healthy human beings, heartbeat is 70 to 80 per minute. So, 120 beats say with 70 to 80 minutes. So, 82 beats per minute. So, particular 120 condition is it It is possible through the cardiomyocytes. Then, one more tissue, one more bundle, one more tissue that is a AVN. That means auricular ventricular node auricular ventricular node node which is present in the interventricular that means right atrium left atrium so left side of the actual left corner of the right atrium that means the position of av node is so right atrium left atrium and left atrium ki koncham area is in the right atrium in this particular area avn that means avn auricular ventricular node so it is a, it acts as a relay point a relay point so e point em antunnante relay point antum it can transmit the action potential from the san san to the avn and the remaining parts that's why it is called as a relay point so meer ikkada chusukunnatlayite from the avn the action potential starts so san nunchi meer chusukunnatlayite action potential heart impulse so if you see the ventricular septum suppose the ventricular septum on the ventricular septum there is a auricular ventricular bundle avn bundle is present so ventricular septum is the use the bundle of his these are bundle of his so we can auricular bundle avn bundle so this bundle is present on the ventricular septum so this is bundle of his bundle his bundle so this is his bundle which is located on the ventricular septum from the his bundle so transmit transmit and action potential transmit through the his bundle and transmit to the next part that is purkinje or purkinje fibers so purkinje fibers those are attached to the bundle of his they transmit the action potential to the ventricular walls throughout the ventricular musculature Throughout ventricular musculature is supported by the Purkinje fibers. So these are Purkinje fibers. Or Purkinje fibers and Kuntumandan Purkinje fibers.
fibers. So these are Purkinje fibers, right? So this is all about nodal tissue. So one is the sinoatrial node or sinoarcular node, which is also called as pacemaker. It can initiate the action potential without any external stimuli. From, from there, there is a starting of action potential transmit to the avian node, that is auriculoventricular node. So this auriculoventricular node acts as a relay point. It can transmit the impulse to the bundles, this is his bundle. From the his bundle, the nerve impulse, the action potential transmit through the these, these Purkinje fibers, they transmit the impulse through the ventricular musculature. So ventricular walls maktan ki vila supply jet mane di charutun. So ila unna twenty particular area and mottu manam nodal tissue ga chappoch. Then there are two arches present in the heart. Those are aortic arches. Aortic arches. So aortic arches ain't ane di chodam chodam. Suppose this is left, uh, this is right ventricle, this is left ventricle, right atrium, left atrium. So may choose not like the so right atrium nunchi deoxygen blade and the right ventricle loki usin. From here, the deoxygen blade transmit uh, through the lungs. So we can choose not like the there is a arch that is called as pulmonary arch. Pulmonary arch is like the so pulmonary arch nunchi total blood, blood and the koda suppose right or right lungs ki left lung ki. so mere ila juste ote right lung ki ote left lung ki two pulmonary ante yuk pulmonary arch nunchi two branches ane vay arise out so total deoxygen blood transmit to the lungs this is called as pulmonary arch already cross into pulmonary arch this pulmonary arch contain one valve that is called as a pulmonary valve it can regulate the it is also semilunar valve it can regulate the transporting of deoxygen blood from the right ventricle to the normal lungs so along that one area a connection is unknown then from the left ventricle it is left ventricle from the left ventricle we would see that uh, systemic arc which transmit all oxygenated blood to the body parts so it is a systemic arc so this is systemic arc so systemic arc means total oxygenated blood and the, so e particular area into the left ventricle this left ventricle transmit the blood to the total body parts which is uh, oxygenated. So oxygenated blood and the transmit out wound. So one is pulmonary arch, it contain one valve that is pulmonary valve. Another one is systemic arch, it contain one more valve that is systemic valve. Both are regulated blood flow. At the same time they are semi-lunar in shape. So half moon shape run at one to be even one. So these two are connected by these two are connected by one chin fiber that is a ligamentum ligamentum arteriosum arteriosum so one evolve so systemic work pulmonary arch is connected by one fibrous cord that is a ligamentous arteriosum it is nothing but remnant of ductus arteriosum embryonic stage like the ductus arteriosum and term. so adult phase lo dinni ligamentum arteriosum and so, render coda blood supply is negavati arteries cavati, one is systemic arch, another one is a pulmonary arch. So, one more name which is it is a ligamentum arteriosum. Arteriosum. So, in embryonic condition, it is called as ductus arteriosum. Ductus arteriosum. So, this is all about uh, internal structure of a uh, heart. Thank you for watching.